tonight. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Both of these teams about to reach the halfway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Taken about seven yards deep. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Out come the Eagles for their first drive, led out by their quarterback in his fifth year in Philly, Carson Wentz. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. To yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. So we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game. Down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Coverage on the play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Working from the gun, Lentz. Man open, it's J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. 11 yards there, first down. That's good. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Again, it's Wentz. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Jalen Smith gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Cowboys take over first and ten at their own 22-yard line. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing again. Dalton. Able to hit his target lamb. And he's going to be ripped down by the face mask at the end of this, and that's going to add 15 more onto the end of this thing. Oh, no! Tack on 15 more for the face mask, and that becomes a huge play. Big pass gets caught on you. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground, and sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. 
first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's third and short. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, the Philadelphia Eagles now in the season 2-4-1. They get the second win in Week 7. Thursday night, a one-point win coming from behind to beat the Giants. And Carson Wentz, a guy who's taken some heat early on this season, he responded probably his best performance of the year, over 350 yards. First time he's gone over 300 all year. Two touchdown passes, ran for another. So, Charles, I'm wondering, did you see anything in that performance that would lead you to believe that this Philly team might be ready to turn things around? I don't know if turn things around is quite it, but they do have more than enough to not just tread water, but maybe flourish in the NFC East against their common opponents because this team is going to get healthier. Jason Peters is going to come back in the offensive line. First round pick Jalen Rager is going to come back as a receiver. It's too bad they get Deshaun Jackson back and he gets hurt immediately out of probably six to eight weeks with an ankle injury. But this team has the capabilities of winning the NFC East, and Carson Wentz is going to be a big reason why. The home for Dallas, very important Sunday nighter coming up. Then they get their open week, the next one. That's complete, Jarthega Whiteside. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! Wow, that ball is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Shotgun snap, and then to give to Sanders. Number 20. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Now Wentz on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by the rookie from Bama, Trayvon Diggs. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. by the Cowboys. They'll take over first down. No doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. 
Going to take a shot for Gallup. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And it's good to make it 14-0. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra-quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Breaks their line to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he loses the football a second time. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A, gain of a very solid gain of 27. Cowboy first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. They'll contain him to just four, second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Second and six from the 10. Jones going to sneak it. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the sneak. Not what he was hoping for, and it's third down. I give him credit. That's a good, solid game there on the sneak because it all comes together. Enough space, get forward, gain yardage. Well done. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Makes the score, Cowboys 17, Eagles nothing. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Oh, good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. It's picked up by the Cowboys. He will score. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout.
Reserve line now for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here's James. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Finding his target, it's Ward. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That's good. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, Charles, a bit of a tangent here, but we just had the fourth Sunday of October passes by, and that is National Tight End Day for those who don't know. Now, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. Fumble on the play. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. First down, Dallas. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Dalton with a first and 10. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll be out of bounds. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Dalton Schultz, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And all he takes off with it, it's a fake. And he will not make it to the goal line as this try for two is going to come up empty. But that's a little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. What? Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, what? preserve that for it. That's, a, that's uh, an ancient just... relic, faking it. You, you, I can understand. You, you want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, the my, attic, the my stuff grandmother used to preserve. did the same. It smells terrible. <laughs> 
here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Let's go, Pete. Let's go. To throw, it's Wentz. And he's going to go down again. Carson Wentz. Tyrone Crawford. Able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beat. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. This is Tony Pollard. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Cowboys take over first and 10. At their own. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Second and 10, Dalton once more. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. That one good for 26 and a first down. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. A first down carry by Elliott. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 24-yard line. It's a game well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Passing, it's Dalton. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, Blake Bell, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again. Dalton pushes him over. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after they do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. A gain of three, second down. 
Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season, as his guys continue to pour it on. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. This will be caught at about the six. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? At their own 31 yards. Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting set to take over. And he has not. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On first and 10, here's Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch, left side. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Alshon Jeffrey, his first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles able to get this back to within at least some measure of respectability. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there's a bust in coverage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on the kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. Dalton, first and 10. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this will be caught at the 30. A big play here for the Cowboys. 51 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dallas. Michael Gallup. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And this offense is running away with this one. 
Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. No good on the fake extra point. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Wentz now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 32 that time. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of six there on first. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for those. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys add on. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. This will be caught at about the five. The conversion. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return, wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Wentz now on first down. Open man, Butler complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. 
call it a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. At the 22-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz. No, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing a second there. Incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And Jeffrey's got it. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. Well, I do have one word for that touchdown for you, partner. You ready? Yeah. Cosmetics. <laughs> Just makes things look a little better. I don't know. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah, and it's hard, it's hard to do, too. And the pig doesn't like the lipstick a heck of a lot, but he do like the fact that they're battling down the scratch, still trying to put something on the board, even though this game is over. By the way, how rude is that to the pig? <laughs> look at all the things they give us. Pulled pork, bacon. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. First and 10 at their own. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And this game, it could very well turn out to be the shocker of the weekend. Not too many expecting them to come in here and win. And they're not just winning, they're dominating. And now trying to finish this one off. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Dalton here from the gun. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. This one caught left side by Cooper. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Give them 32 on the play. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for him during this game. For Dalton Schultz. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. Well, there's two sides here. I guess you could pinpoint and look at the offense and say, oh, man, what a disaster. Hey, the defense, though, they came through. Preparation's the key to everything. And when you're on the defensive side of the ball and in special teams meetings, you prepare for plays like this. And in this case, they were actually able to win it. Give them a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. You know what? I know it's fourth down and they've got a big lead, but go for it. Yeah, and why not, right? Because they have the big lead. But don't you have to have a little bit of admiration for these guys on the defensive side yeah. of the ball? They've been shoved around this entire game, and they're making a night. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got, if we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. So now after the touchdown, Dalton will lead him up to go for two. Blitz coming, and down he goes. I know we can sit up here and dance around it a little bit, but going for two in this situation, Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. 
And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. They're on 32-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though. Probably not one that they wanted. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed, I did, my good man. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. Elliot Good on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. First and 10 at their own The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And they look to finish strong in this fourth quarter. And this is a unit that certainly has turned things around from a week ago. Just a much more productive all-around ball game. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Not running. Dalton wants to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Elliott, toss right. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, they set the power set out there, and their job is to be man-on-man man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing it for a loss. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Chris Jones. Now, now comes the Cowboys. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is caught, and the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Cowboys, a loss would have really hurt as it stands. They finished the first.